stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and welcome to today's online crafting class where we are going to be making this set of gorgeous cards and gift bag. Um, these actually originally were designed from the August Paper Pumpkin Kit, the 2019 Gift of Fall Kit um, that we just got last month. I always do an alternate project every time the kits come out. I'll do it from the kit and then another video for an alternate project. I had a lot of fun with this one. I was playing with some holiday catalog products and, and decided to do some foil wreath cards and uh, some gift bags. Now these uh, refills are still available in the online store. However, the add-on kits have sold out. I don't expect the refill kits to last very long. So if you really love this and want some refills, you want to jump in there and get them fast. And if you don't have the kit or the refills, I'm going to show you some ways that you can do substitute cards and look awesome without them. If you're not familiar with Paper Pumpkin, it is awesome. This is a, a kit that comes every month. Uh, if you would like it to, you can subscribe or you can do one month at a time. And everything you need to create the projects in the kit are included in the box. So it's a lot of fun. I love this. It's my favorite thing to get in the mail. And you can get more information on Paper Pumpkin by going to stampwithtammy.com and clicking the Paper Pumpkin tab or clicking um, on the link in the video's description. And for those of you who are jumping on board, welcome. So we are recording this live and the replay will stay on Facebook and will also be uploaded to YouTube. So we'll reach out to everybody. We'll try to get um, all social media covered there. I'll also be um, sending it to Pinterest. So hopefully we'll catch it at some place uh, in your preferred social media platform. Uh, if you are live and you leave a comment, you will be entered to win one of my are actually two of four. So I'll be giving two away live and two away in the replay. Uh, and these are the actual kits that we're using today. The sold out gift of all kits. Uh, the kits are no longer available, but I'm sorry, the refills still are, but not the full kit. So you can win uh, when one of four of these, two will be drawn immediately following the live if you leave a comment and two will be drawn on September 20th. So that gives you four chances to win. All you need to do is leave a comment. And if you share this broadcast, onto social media and you type the word shared into the original videos uh, comments, I will enter you a second time into that drawing. So this is the actual kit um, that we used here. It's called the Gift of Fall. It came, uh, you need to subscribe by the 10th every month. So if you subscribe before the 10th of August, you've got this awesome kit. And it came, it was gift bags. And they told us ahead of time that they were going to do something a little bit different this time. It was going to be gift bags, but they were going to offer an add-on kit that they've never done this before so that we could turn it into cards, which I thought, oh my gosh, this is great because now we get more mileage out of these awesome kits because you can now do gift bags and cards. Um, so these were the supplies and you can see the, the projects there that we made, which were pretty awesome. So this is what I'm going to be working with today. And again, if you don't have this, don't worry, because I'm going to show you some substitutions that you can do. One last thing I want to share with you before we start stamping, and that is the September paper pumpkin. The, if you're watching this live or if you're watching this the same day I'm recording, it is September 9th. That means tomorrow is the deadline. If you're watching this after September 10th, you will be subscribing to an October kit. But if you subscribe before the 10th, you're going to be uh, getting this awesome box. Uh, it, we don't know what's in it. I, it did say that there's going to be some goodie stuff inside of it. It's going to be for uh, treats and goodies. I love when they do these special edition boxes because they're so cool. And I don't know if you can see here in uh, the little corner right here, but there is a cool little um, Halloween haunted house that one of the Stampin' Up! designers made actually out of the paper pumpkin box. How cute is that? So hopefully we're going to get some directions for that because I'm dying to make that. I feel like I, I'm almost going to order myself an extra kit just so I can I can make a few of these. And you can do that. You can you can order as many as you want. But this one, tomorrow's the deadline, September 10th. Okay, so with that, uh, we are going to start some stamping. Uh, these are the cards that we're going to be making today. I'm going to start, I'm going to make one card here. I'm going to make card one. And then the other ones, I'm just going to show you some highlights and some tips and tricks on um, different things that I did here uh, on the different projects. So I think you're going to like all of this. Anywho, they are gorgeous. And I'm, I'm just going to show real quick the actual projects that we made earlier in um, August that came in the kit. So here we've got um, the two gift bags. These are from the kit, directly from the kit, as right out of the box. 
And then these are the add-ons. If you if you purchase the um, add-on, you can make these cards. So I'm gonna be using supplies from both the add-on and the kit. Um, but again, I'm gonna show you some substit substitutions so that you can make them even if you don't have the kit. Try to, try to touch base with everything here. You can always substitute products. Um, I will note, at the time of the recording right now, that time I'm recording this, the refill kits for this um, this kit are still available. The refills don't include the stamp set or the ink pad, but it will have the gift bags and a lot of these embellishments that we're going to be using today. However, the add-on kit has sold out, so I don't expect those refill kits to add on to to stay too long. And uh, one little thing here. This is, I, I know this is one of my, my favorites here. Um, this is something I do with every online class that I do, and that is a PDF to follow along with. The resource page is now up for this class, and you'll be able to download this if you click on the link in this video's description. It says resource page there. I have a few links to help you get to things easily, but one is this direct resource page. And if you don't see that, you can go to stampwithtammy.com directly, and you'll, go, you'll be able to click on the video tutorials uh, page there, but this has the dimensions for everything that we're making here. It also has um, additional supplies. So these are the, the uh, not additional, but the supplies that I used on each of the projects. I thought that would make it easy for you guys um, if you were trying to recreate something so you can see what I actually used here and then the supply list on the back. And this is a full supply list for all four projects. You can download that and it also has the link back to the resource page to help you find this video that we're creating right now which will be on the resource page as soon as we're done making it. And uh, there's a QR code so if you have a smartphone and know how to use that you can get right into um, the resource page very quickly. Okay so that's a free PDF. That's where you're going to find all the measurements. Let's get started stamping. You guys ready? <laughs> I am. I this was actually this this class was supposed to be last Friday. It was supposed to be last week, and um, my computer died, and that wasn't fun. <laughs> and they had to send it out to be fixed, and so it did come back in uh, Saturday afternoon, and then it took me uh, a little while to get everything back reinstalled back on it because it came back like a brand new computer, and I had to redo everything. So. It's all back, and while um, while I was doing that, I made some improvements here in the studio. So hopefully, you, hopefully you, you like that. So the first thing I'm going to talk about here, I'm going to start with my stamping, is the designer paper. And I meant to bring the designer paper, and I I forgot it. So I'm going to show you in the catalog. The designer paper here is from the uh, Come Together suite. In fact, that is the name of it. It's called Come Together, and you can see a little swatch here of the the paper. And so I'm actually using, and there's two different types of, well, actually one wood grain, but, and the other one is like a burlap that we're using. This is the wood grain. It's hard to see. It's not a really good sample in the catalog, but in person you can see super cool and it's double sided. So we have two sides that we can use, but we're using this one today. Um, and we're also going to be using this gather together stamp set. If you don't have the kit, that's a great set for the words that we're using today. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is our stamping and that includes some heat embossing. So one of my favorite things. So for that, we're gonna use a Versamark ink pad, some copper, I'm using copper. You know I love copper, right? <laughs> I'm using copper uh, embossing powder and then this is the embossing buddy. This is the, if you, if you forget this step, you will regret it because you're gonna get static on your, your project when you emboss. I know it's a little tiny little thing, tiny little step, but it makes a huge difference. And all I did was rub it on there and that's going to keep the static down. Now the words that I'm using here, thankful for you, came from the Peeper Pumpkin Kit. So this was every uh, month there's a stamp set, an exclusive stamp set. I also have um, on the resource page, I also have uh, information there on how you can get downloadable PDFs. Uh, for the cases, the stamp cases, so you can store these with the rest of your stamps, and I, I tell you how to do that. So I have them backdated almost for a year now, so you can store these, which is really cool. If you don't have this, that Gather Together stamp set that I just showed you is a great substitution. In fact, I use this on um, a couple of the projects as well. So that's in the uh, holiday catalog and a great substitution if you don't have the Paper Pumpkin Kit stamp set. So we're going to ink that up with Versamark. I have a very dirty Versamark pad here. 
And you know what? It doesn't matter. Actually, sometimes I prefer that the Versamark pad is dirty because if I'm using it on white, I can actually see a little bit of what I'm stamping. And it really doesn't matter because we are going to be doing heat embossing today. And so the embossing powder is going to cover up. And actually, even though it was dirty, you can see here, it doesn't even show. You can barely even see that on there if you can see it at all. All right, so now I'm going to pour some copper embossing powder over here with my very primitive embossing <laughs> embossing uh, station here. I've got some just scrap paper folded underneath to catch my excess because these little vials of powder seem to last forever. So I just flicked off the back there, and you can see we've got the, the thankful for you. And the powder's on there, and that's when the magic's going to happen. But first, pour this, we'll pour this right back into the jar. These little guys will last forever. And then we're going to take our heat tool and we're going to heat that up. And I use copper on this card. I use copper foil, copper embossing. So everything kind of pulls together. And I also use some copper embellishments that I'll tell you about a little bit later. Can you guys see that? Okay. I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit here. Sorry, <laughs> getting used to the new setup. All right, so here we go. I know the Zoom police don't always love it when I zoom in, but but when I'm doing something like this, I really want you to see the detail. There we go. See that? Oh my gosh, it's so cool, and it never, ever gets old. I have been stamping for almost 16 years. Never gets old. So cool. So when that's done, you can see that foil on there. It's uh, foil, sorry. The embossing powder has melted and it's it's raised a little bit and it looks flipping awesome. Okay. So next up, that's all the that's actually all the stamping that I, I have on this card. So next up we're gonna do some um oh my gosh. Did you see what I, I just did here? I seriously am just getting I, you got a close up of my eyeball there. How was that? Did you like that? <laughs> I am so getting used to this setup. Okay. So let's get you out a little bit here. Bear with me. Thank you. And we are going to continue on here creating the rest of the card. So the next thing I did now that this card, I used uh, the add-on kit. Here's the add-on kit here. Um, there were two different card bases that came in the add-on kit. We're going to use both of them for this so um, I, I just cut this out with a, the circle layering circles, but actually you could just cut this out around the edges of the circle with scissors. It doesn't matter because you're not actually going to see the edges when we cover it with the wreath. So I pre-cut that, and then these are the pieces that we are going to want. Okay, here we go. So here we've got, um, and I'm going to show you, this comes from the... In fact, we used all the pieces of this die here. This is the all-around wreaths die that actually matches two stamp sets, which is kind of cool, in the catalog. So we've got the, the, the wreath itself. We've got some leaves here. And then we've got these little guys and some branches. We used them all. So um, that came as a bundle with the Tidings All-Around stamp set. I think that I miss, I'm missing a stamp set. No, what else? It... Um, it matches, and I'm just going to show you that. This die set matches two stamp sets. It matches, and it, the tidings all around, it comes as a bundle. You can purchase the two together and save 10% if you wanted to. But it also matches the seasonal wreaths um, stamp set. So it, it's actually a, a double stamp set that it matches there. It's got two, it's working on two stamp sets. So that's cool. And you don't need either stamp set to use it, which is even cooler. So I've used all the pieces here on this. We've got our little branches, we've got our little leaves, and then we've got the base, and then this in the foil, of which I've cut twice, is the is the leaves on the outline there. Now, I, I did pre-cut these with the die cut machine just to save us a little time. So I, I cut two of the copper for the card, two of the copper um, leaves out of copper foil. And then the base here is out of um, Pretty Peacock because that was the color of the original I put those on there so I wouldn't lose them on the table. So I did um, just a little note of what we I used here. Pretty Peacock, cardstock, copper foil, and the all-around wreath die. And then um, 
two of the little branches out of copper and then four of these little leaves. And I'm just gonna leave those on there for now so I don't lose them. Cause I think I've already lost one of my little branches, but we're gonna go without it. I did, I did have two branches originally. I thought I was doing so good doing that so that I wouldn't lose it. Okay, now before I continue, I am gonna actually use the die cut machine and show you how I cut these with the with the the wreath die. And what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to move these out of the way. Cuz I'm going to use this is um it's it's almost like a color wash, but it came pre-printed like this on the um add-on card kit. So, if you don't have the add-on card kit cuz it is sold out, don't worry. Um on the next card, I'm going to show you how to do this without the without the card, without the pre-printed. You're going to be able to do it all by yourself. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's see if I can get this right. There we go. I'll get you out just a little bit. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, forget it. I'm just using my hands. Sorry. You know, every time I think I've, I've got something better, then I got to get, get used to using it. I like to, I, I'm always looking for ways to improve things to make it better for the videos, to make things easier for you guys to see or easy to find. But sometimes. It takes a little while getting used to it. So I've got the, what I've got here is the Big Shot die cut machine, because that's what I have. I've got the magnetic uh, platform underneath, and I've got one cutting pad. So then I'm going to take the leaf die, and this is the same exact way I cut everything um, that I just showed you, all those pieces. And I'm going to line this up, maybe a little bit. I, I wanted a little bit more of this cherry cobbler. Totally up to you how you want to line that up. If you want more yellow, you can put it up that way, kind of, kind of move it around. So I'm actually going to cut this out of the card. All right. And then before I pop that off, I'm going to use the die brush. I found the die brush was the easiest to use here. And this little piece doesn't go to waste. I'll show you a trick for that too. If you have the, if you have these note cards, now I have the old die brush here. I did order the new one that goes on the uh, take your pick tool, but I don't have it handy. So I'm just going to take this die brush and we're just going to scrub, right? Scrub around our wreath. And that's going to get most of these pieces out. And so when we remove it, Oh, thank you, Robbie. That's a very sweet thing to say. She says, you're truly inspirational. That made my day. Thanks. I live to inspire. Uh, okay, so I've got the take your pick tool, but I don't have the, there we go. I don't have the paper piercer tip uh, on it, so I'm just going to take my old paper piercer and poke out any naughty little pieces of that wreath. Oh, are you flipping kidding me? Nope. Shoo. I thought for a second there I cut the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, it is Monday. This is why I don't do videos on Monday. Because, you know, Monday your head is just, you know, still recovering from the weekend. <laughs> That's why I pick Tuesdays for my online class days. Okay. While we have this out, let's go ahead and cut this piece for our inner. And I don't have these measurements on that PDF, but these are easy enough to do. I'm just going to cut it... Um, Let's say three and a half, right? Three and a half by five, maybe even four and three quarters. I'm just eyeballing it. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we're gonna use that on, on the inside of our card base. You could use it, actually you could go white or crumb cake, whichever one you prefer. So there's that. If you are using the um, the card from the kit, I will, I'm going to show you a little tip here because um, when you cut it, you see this a little bit of white edge here. So I'm going to take the Cajun Craze ink pad and just sponge over that little white tip. Now, if you are going to do the and the next card, I'm going to show you how to how to create this without. If you don't if you don't have that that. Um, Add on card kit. I'm going to actually show you how to make that color wash. So there, I just kind of sponged the color on there. So it all, and if you wanted to sponge around the edges of the whole thing, you can. 
don't let me stop you because it looks cool, right? There you go. So now it's all blended together. All right. Next up, we are going to assemble. So we pre-cut, since I pre-cut all of the rest of these pieces, and again, you saw how I cut that. That is how I cut all the pieces here. I'm just going to move these are um, the rest of the pieces that we're going to use. So we got our we got all of our little die cut pieces out here. We're going to start with uh, this again. You could hand cut this circle out because you're not really going to see it, but this is the first thing I'm going to attach. And then I'm going to take, now I cut this out of the Pretty Peacock, this panel, so it would match. If you have just the kit without the add-on, instead of doing the blue, you could do crushed curry with this came in the kit. Very cute, which I'm going to use on the next card, so I'll show you that too. And if you don't have either of those things, on the third card, I'll show you what you can use there. Oops, what is on there? So to see, it doesn't matter how you cut the edges of that because just a hair here, because um, it's going to cover the edge of the uh, the circle here. You know what? If you didn't have either one of these, I thought this would be pretty. You could stamp this for the inside. You could even emboss it or do it in colors or just make it similar. And that was from the Come Together or Gather Together stamp set. Okay, so next up, we're going to attach our wreath. So I've got two. Now, if you wanted to, you could just use one, but I really liked the look of it um, when I layered the two copper foil wreaths together. And I'm going to take some, I'm just using snail adhesive. If you prefer to use the liquid glue or another adhesive, you could use your, your preferred method. The next one, though, does matter what we use. Okay, so there's our first step. We've attached the, attached that. Next up is, um, I've got both the copper here and the top panel that we cut out of the card. This one does really matter what you use because you want them to pop up, but you don't want to see this. You don't want to see the mini glue dots. So I'm using mini glue dots and I actually cut them in half to make this work because um, a, a whole mini glue, a whole mini glue dot, these aren't glue dots, I'm sorry. My bad, these are uh, mini dimensionals. A whole mini dimensional was actually too big. So if you can see what I'm doing here, I'm, I'm cutting them in half while they're still on this pad. And believe it or not, these um, Stampin' Dimensionals, mini dimensionals actually came from a previous paper pumpkin kit. And then we're just gonna put a few on each. And while I'm putting them on there, I'm just taking the backing off while I'm going rather than putting them all on and then taking the backing off later because that way I know which ones I know that they're all ready. But I did find with the dimensional, with the mini dimensional that a full one does show. So I I, I did want to cut that in half to make it hidden. And what I'm using here is called the all around wreath die that I used to cut this with. And if you're just popping on, welcome. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. <laughs> I have lots of videos coming up this week. This is actually one of part one of three, not part one of, they're all different classes, but this is one of three videos that I will be um, filming this week live. So I do film live on Facebook and then they get uploaded onto YouTube. So if you want to win live prizes, subscribe to my Facebook channel as well. I know some of you like to watch later on YouTube. So what I did was I kind of just moved it so they weren't lined up. So you can see, isn't that beautiful? I loved the full look and it's popped up a little bit. So it gives it just a, a really little, um, it's just a, a little bit of pop and pow. And then um, again, same exact thing we're going to do here. Normally, I only have two classes a week, but um, this one was actually supposed to be last week, and I had some computer problems, so 
I'm doing it this week. So I've, I've rescheduled um, the rest of the videos for this week. I did post that on my Facebook page, the updated times that I will be live. Man, that guy just does not want to stick. You know what else I found was really handy? If you have this edging, I'm going to use that right now. See that little edging on the side of the, the mini dimensionals? I'm going to use that. You guys super excited about that Halloween paper pumpkin? I seriously cannot wait to see what's inside. I love those. I, I'm so in love with the box. It's, I know it's pathetic, but when they made that little haunted house out of it, oh, I was sold. I'm like, that is just adorbs. I can't stand it. All right, one more little piece and one little piece and then we are good to go thank you i'm glad you love the copper wreath yeah I, I when i first started making it oh my gosh the copper was just ugh. i love copper anything but this wreath is just a pow i try to use every single dimensional yeah i um sometimes i i get lazy on those edges but they really did come in handy here and I, I don't know how well you can see that but we are just going to go ahead and attach oops I got a backing in here come on I'm gonna attach that right over the top and this is gonna make it stand up but it's also see all that pow underneath it is just awesome awesome and then it's got a little bit of the peacock peeking around the edges and then and we've we've got the design on the inside but if you didn't have this you don't need that that's just a really cool addition so if you didn't have that kit you can still make this and it still looks pretty awesome all right moving right along next we are going to attach some embellishments now i originally had two of these i cut them from the same die set out of um, copper foil and one is floating somewhere around the table so i'm just going to do one <laughs> I'm just gonna do one and you're gonna you're gonna see how cool it is and uh, for each one of those branches there's two of these cut out a pretty peacock again same die here oh thanks for the heart you guys I love that uh, do I want no I'm sorry that's a different that's a different card we'll do that on a different card I did something different with these I put a mini glue dot, oops, put a mini glue dot on that, and I actually tucked it into the wreath, so it's poking out. I did, I, I did them a couple different ways on the different cards, just to have a little bit of fun with it. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Glad I made your mind up on that card, on that wreath die, because I love it. You'll probably be seeing more of it. Actually, I guarantee you'll be seeing more of it. it not every one of my creations is a video, uh, obviously, because there's just not enough time in the day for that. Um, but I post every day on my blog, some of it mine, some of it my designer, uh, Veronica Zalas. She's very, very talented. And um, between us, you are going to be seeing, I'm sure you're going to be seeing more of that on my blog, even if it's not on the video. But I have a feeling you'll probably be seeing it on the video, too. Stay tuned! Okay, so this is the last little one. So you see how I kind of tucked it in here? Tucked it into our little um, our wreath. Made it super cute. There we go. Right? Adorbs. So I just did a oh, mini glue dot. Just tuck that in there. And then we're just going to attach this to our card base. If I, if I We'll come back and revisit this if I do find that other... <laughs> if I do find that other copper branch... I'll stick it in, the, we'll, we'll bring this card back out and stick it in there. I'm just using some snail adhesive to attach this to an early espresso card base. Again, the supplies are all on that free PDF on the resource page. Oh, thanks. Glad you like it. And this, remember we cut this from the backing of the card that we cut our wreath out of? A little snail on that, it sticks it on the inside, because anytime you have a dark uh, card base, you want to put something light on the inside so you can write. And then you can stamp your little greeting in there. And we have card number one. So, card, oh, you know what? Ah, look at, look at, look what I found. Woo, 
we weren't even finished and I found it. I knew it was somewhere around there. <laughs> Go ahead and stick that in the branch. And you know what? I do have one more little piece here. I did have one more thing that I, I put on here and I'll just show it to you. This is the, um, this came in the kit. It's crushed curry um, crinkle ribbon. And so I just tied a, a, a bow in that and just put a glue dot and stuck it to the front. So it looks like that. However, if you didn't have the kit and didn't have this, we have something very similar um, in the annual catalog. It's crushed curry crinkle ribbon. It's a little bit wider, but it looks just as awesome on the card. So that's a little touch, a little add on here, or a little, little pop and pow. And we are ready for card two. And, um, and since you've seen the basics of the card, I'm just going to show you how instead of using that, um, I used the Gift of Fall uh, add-on kit to make the wreath. This time, I'm going to show you how to actually do the color wash that was on that card front, that was on that greeting card. You're actually going to do the color wash yourself. So if you don't have that, that add-on kit, don't worry. So what I've got here is some watercolor paper. These little backings get everywhere, don't they? I'm just going to shoo it on the floor. And we're going to take, I've got my, just my silicone pad under here just to keep it from getting messy. And then I've got an aqua painter here. It's filled with water. These little caps come off. You can fill it up. It's kind of nice and convenient. Oh, thanks. A lot of love on this. Thanks, you guys. Love it. I'm going to squeeze the tube of this. And make sure this is really wet. I want it to be really, really wet. And actually, before I start that, let's do this. I've got ink pad colors here. These are ink refills. They're not just for re-inking your, re your ink pads, right? They have alternate uses, and this is one of them, and it's watercoloring. We've got crushed curry, and we've got pumpkin pie, and we've got cherry cobbler. And I am just going to be taking... This is just an acrylic block that I stick the stamps to. So I'm just going to use that to hold our ink. Well, hello, Diane Clemens. It is wonderful to see you. We'll give a shout out to Diane because um, I, when I first started almost, actually, what's the date today? Two days will be my 16th anniversary. September 11th will be my 16th anniversary as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And Miss Diane Clemens was my very first recruit. True story. So it's pretty awesome that you're on here. Do that 16 years later we're still together <laughs> she's not a demonstrator anymore but she still loves to craft craft therapy is important okay so we've got a really wet wet brush here the first thing i'm going to do and this was like a four by four i mean i really didn't measure it i just cut it long enough i mean big enough so that this wreath would it, it cover the whole entire surface okay so this is really wet i'm just going to kind of wet the whole cardstock first so I don't know if you can see that Look at that. and then it doesn't matter where you start with the color but I'm gonna go ahead and start with the lighter one which is crushed curry uh -oh, I'm, I guess I'm gonna do it upside down with the colors but it really doesn't matter so I'm gonna do this is the watercolor wash which it was printed on those um, and I'll show you one I got it right over here just in case you came in late and you can you can rewind and watch it but this was, a, this was the original card that came in the, the um, add-on kit. This is the color wash right here that we're recreating in case you didn't have that add-on. All right, so now I'm going to wipe that off, and we're going to take the pumpkin pie. Oh, my gosh, that wasn't pumpkin pie. That was more crushed curry, which doesn't matter. <laughs> Beautiful thing about that is we can go right over it, right, because it was the lighter color. See how it, I mean, it looks identical, right? And then wipe that off and pick up some of that cherry cobbler for the very bottom part. All right, so we have our watercolor wash and I did pull that all the way over to the edges of our what this is watercolor paper we just recreated that watercolor wash look this is going to take a second to dry and then we would use the the die cut machine exactly as we did with uh card number one and then we would cut this out and then we would get actually you know what i lied 
This isn't watercolor paper. This is shimmer white. Sorry about that. But you could do it with watercolor paper too. Either one. So when I cut it, the cool thing about the shimmer white though is there's a little bit of shimmer on there. So then we get that exact same look. So I'll show you. This is the one that I, I painted the color wash myself. And here is uh, a printed version that came off of the, 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 uh, the kit. They almost look identical, right? Very cool. This one actually. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to throw this out there. This one even looks better. Just saying. So uh, then I did the rest of this exactly the same. Now this, the only difference is the outline of the wreath that we did in Pretty Peacock before is going to be crushed curry. We're going to cut that in crushed curry. And this actually came in the actual paper pumpkin kit, this um, designer paper here. And so that will go in the center. And then the rest of this card was, was built exactly the same as the first one. So just that color wash there we have some embossing and I used like a it's almost like a, a canvas um, background designer paper and that designer paper came from the come together designer series paper so that is card number two and that's how I created that color wash so if you don't have those printed papers that came in the kit don't worry or came in the add-on kit don't worry about that now card number three move these aside card number three um, the, what I did here that made it a little bit different. Now this entire card can be made even if you don't have that paper pumpkin kit. If you didn't get it, you can still make this entire card. So here's here's what I did. Uh, color wash on the top and then the two layers of the copper underneath exactly like we did underneath. Instead of having a printed in inside, like we have the printed uh, circle that came in the kit there, I stamped the words in there. See it? So I embossed the season of thanks uh, words in there. And then I did the same thing with the little leaf pieces, exactly the same as we did the first card. And this is the same exact um, designer paper. This is to come together. It's just another uh, design of it. And um, I, I layered this one. So I, I have the dimensions on this. The, the original two cards that I did, I did the designer paper was the only layer on it. This one I layered over the copper. See how pretty that is? I just wanted to show a different thing. Now these two little pieces I got from the uh, brightly gleaming elements that came in the holiday catalog. So you can take a look at those. So they came, these are, I, I popped them out. Let me get you one that's all ready, ready to go. Okay. Uh, so the question is, so use the shimmer white, not the watercolor paper. I, you know what? I misspoke I use shimmer white but you can use either one and get the same result so either way you could do that but I am sorry I did use the shimmer white on mine so see they've got cute little uh, pieces and these just pop right out like the pieces pop out so these are the ones that I used for um, the little embellishments on the side of the wreath there and that is card number three so again you could make that that is a substitute the alternate to the alternate I call it you don't even need the kit to make that one And last up, we have the bag. Now the bag, I used a lot of pieces from the kit because I thought, well, I've got these pieces. Let's show how to use some of the different pieces that came in that. So I kind of threw all the embellishments on here. If you didn't have it, you could definitely use some designer paper um, to do this. So the bags came in the kit. Probably could get them um, at a crafting store or a paper store. So this came in the kit. This is a, a little banner. I attached that. And then did the wreath the exact same way uh, with the the uh, color wash on top, two panels of the uh, copper, and then underneath I had a design here. But you, if you didn't have that, you didn't have to. You could leave that blank. We've got the ribbon here. And these two leaf pieces also came from the kit. And then I embossed the words on this tag actually came in the kit too. But again, crumb cake you could use. I used the sequins here. So these are uh, these are the, the sequins. They're uh, metallic sequins. So there's there's copper in there. There's copper and silver and, and black. And these also came. In, I wanted to use these really bad. These also came in the kit. So then I just attached. You can see it right here. I attached one of those down the bottom. And so that the, again, wreath same exact way. Just put it on this banner instead of on the card. Attached it to the bag. And now we have a full set. And voila! So that is our set of. We've got, 
you're, if you're popping on now, you definitely want to go back and check out the beginning of this. But we have got here card one, card two, card three, and the gift bag. So these are uh, the four the, the four pieces to this set. Um, and we did put everything together on card one at the beginning. So you can see how all of that was done. I hope you love these projects. Absolutely uh, one of my favorites. I cannot wait for the September Paper Pumpkin Kit. So I will be live as soon as I get that one in the mail. Um, just a little quickie here. And I, I, I put these together to help you. But you can also find this on the free PDF. I put together here a list of all of the um, supplies that I used on each one. So this is card one. Here's a list of all of the supplies that I used on card one. And then card two, this was the color wash card um, that we actually created the color wash ourselves instead of using the printed one. And a list of the supplies that I used for that one. Which one is your favorite? Give a, give a comment there and tell me which one is your favorite. We had card one, this is card two. Here's card three. Oh, sorry. Let's tell you what's on it. Card three. Here's the supplies on it. And our very last one is the gift bag. Our fourth piece. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget, leave a comment. You'll be entered in to win the drawing. And uh, I will be back this week. I have two more uh, live online classes this week. So we have a busy week filled with fun. Thanks for joining me today.